Welcome to another edition of the GNBS in 30. This is the eighth edition of the program and we do hope that you have been enjoying and learning as we go along. On this edition, we will be sharing information about our certification services and some of our recent activities at the Bureau. The GNBS certifies several products against national standards under its tagline of creating a culture of quality through standards. With me are the head of the Corporate Communications Department, Mr. Lloyd David. Welcome, Mr. David. And the head of the Certification Services Department, Ms. Andrea Mendonza. Welcome, Andrea. Lloyd, as we start off, can you tell us about the products and services certified by the GNBS? Yes, the Ghana National Bureau of Standards started its certification services way back in the late 1990s, starting with gold article or gold jewelry as we know it, and also PVC pipes. Those are the products that demanded certification back in those days. And the GMBS reached up and decided to, you know, assist companies to acquire those certification. Of recent, we have been certifying, we've begun certifying concrete hollow blocks and also bathtubs and shower units uh, provided by some companies. So the Bureau has been making significant strides in that area and that is for products. In terms of services, we offer a laboratory certification program. We certify a number of products based on the national standard, which is the general requirements for the operation of a laboratory. So that standard is a key standard in Guyana because many of our laboratories are certified to that standard. And lastly, in terms of certification services, we offer audit services. Uh, if a company is implementing a, an international standard, even a national standard, uh, they need that assistance or that guidance to verify that they are continually meeting the requirements of those standards. And therefore, we offer the, those services to the, to the company to ensure that they are meeting the requirements of whichever standard they are implementing. All right. Thank you very much, Lloyd. Andrea, as Lloyd mentioned, the GNBS certifies products and services. Can we delve a little into the products certified by the GNBS? As Lloyd mentioned, we certify gold jewelry, pipes, bathtubs and shower units, and concrete blocks. And over the years, we have seen a number of companies have been certified um, to this specific standard, to the product. So that sort of certification has allowed them to have that confidence to indicate to their customers that they are performing at a specific level or quality. Or their customer can guarantee that they're going to get a quality product from them. In each instance, the national standard associated with these products includes certain requirements. Can you tell me about the common requirements that would ensure that the accurate results that we're looking for when we give them a certificate, how they actually upkeep those? Well, each one of the standard would have their own requirements um, and also they would have this aspect of testing. So you have the basic or the general requirements where the products must meet and then we have the testing arm. And in most cases, the Bureau would offset that sort of testing to determine whether the product is indeed meeting the specific requirement or the testing parameter that is outlined in the standard. Can you tell me a little bit about the process that is involved when you're certifying a company or a product? All right, so a company that is interested in having um, their product certified, and that is the products in those specific area that I just highlighted, yes. they our process would start from um, filling out an application form. So they fill that application form, which would tell us what exactly it is that they want to certify and what sort of system they would have in place. So there's certain information that they need to give us. Once that application is handed to us, our officers would peruse it, and review it, and ensure that it is completed properly and after which we would make contact with the company to, um, to determine a preliminary assessment. And that preliminary assessment, the company and us, we would agree to a time and a date, and our officers would go visit the, the company site. While they're there, the, cost, the officers would assess 
what is it that the company or the organization has in place, or check their records, check to see what they have. And of course, in checking, they would check to see what the company has in place is in line with the requirements in the specific standard. If there are any areas or gaps that are missing, our officers would indicate to the person or persons. And they would return, they would prepare that report with all the findings, and we would present it to the company or the organization. If there are any gaps that are identified, and those gaps meaning that they are inadequate to the requirements of the standard, well then that company would be given a chance to address those gaps. However, we do not tell them how to address it. How they're going to address it, it's entirely up to them. Um, what we do is just identify the missing links. When that company, of course, periodically we would be following up with them, and once those gaps are filled, they indicate us and we do what we call a certification audit. At this certification audit, we're not coming to tell you what's missing. <laughs> we're coming to ensure that what you have now is in line with the requirements of the standard. If samples need to be taken to be tested, we will take it and we will take it back to the Bureau for testing. When those results are available and we have the report, we have an advisory committee where we need to submit our report and those findings to. They deliberate and determine whether that com company should be certified or not. So it's a very stringent process. So yeah. when you give that certificate, you can say, well, this is it. Yes. The person has done everything that needs to be done. Sure. I know just this year, the GNBS certified Fibertech Industrial Plastics for the bathtub and shower yes. units. Can you share some other companies that have been certified for their products? Well, presently, we have for gold jewelry, we have our Socraj um, and San Jewelry, and we have Steve's Jewelry. For the bathtub and shower units, we have Fibertech International. For concrete blocks, we have Gafson Industries, and for the pipes, we have PPLS Plastic Products Limited and Ghana Thermoplastic Limited. Those Thank are the companies that are certified in the specific um, products. And these um, companies would have a sticker from the GNBS at their location right. so customers can see and know that they're certified. Right, so as long as they have meet those requirements and we certify them, the companies we provide them with certificates which indicate that they're conforming to the requirements of the standard we also issue these quality stickers, two of them, and we give them a plaque which they can display. The stickers, that are, we advise them rather to put it where their customers can see it so that once you see that, you know well the company is conforming or that they're certified. Interesting. As it relates to the products certified by the GNBS, you mentioned concrete hollow blocks and with so many buildings going up, construction taking place. Can we delve into a little bit about the certification of concrete hollow blocks and also include, um, encourage our block makers to get onto the program? Certifying those blocks is the same process I just outlined yes. um, for product certification for concrete blocks. Once you enter the certification program, we do take samples of the blocks from randomly selected batches and we take them to the bureau, to our IMT department for testing and of course our certificate being offered or given to them would depend on the results. Lloyd, can we switch our attention a bit to the bathtubs and shower units that I mentioned earlier? All right, so with the expansion of the tourism industry or the anticipated expansion with, of the industry after with this COVID and all of this go by, uh, we, we would need certain products. And one of those products that we, we would need would be bathtubs. Uh, our local manufacturer here has decided to join the, and have its product certified by the Ghana National Bureau of Standards. So we put a lot of work into it and he, and he was committed. He had his company and he was very committed to the process, the process outlined by Andrea earlier. And today we are pleased to say that that company is certified. I was, I was one of the persons there when the certificate was being handed to him and the delight on his face. He was so delighted to have the certificate and become, have his product certified. Uh, he said, you know what, this will allow him to enter export market. 
Uh, well, that's one of the things he, ke he kept saying all the time. This will, this will help his products to go further afield, expand his market so that he does not only have to sell in Guyana, but he can also sell uh, internationally. One of the things he said too is that this, this, will, this will allow for uh, competitive, competitiveness of his product because he said some products are coming into the country and, and competing with this product. So by having the certification, he can increase the consumer confidence and of course increase competitiveness of the product. So the Guy National Bureau of Standards is certainly happy that we have had that company come on board with us and become certified. And of course, we encourage more companies to come on board our, our product certification pro program and get their products taken to, take to another level. As it relates to other products that people might want to get certified, can they approach the GMBS to get this done? Yes, certainly. Persons can approach the Guyana National Bureau of Standards if you have a particular product to be certified. One of the things that you must have, we must have, of course, is the available national standard. You must have the available national standard and, of course, capacity to test that product. You must be able to test that product to ensure that it's meeting the requirements stipulated in that national standard. So any product, it doesn't matter what you have as long as there's a national standard and there's the ability to test to ensure that that product is meeting the requirements, that product can be certified. And that is why I encourage uh, our local manufacturers particularly to examine the, the, the list of products and take advantage of the opportunity offered by the Guyana National Bureau of Standards to have their products certified. There are many advantages. You will increase your consumer confidence, you'll be able to demonstrate quality and be able to brag that you're meeting a particular standard. And of course, the biggest one, you're, you're not limited. Like, like the company I mentioned earlier, you're not limited just to a Guyanese market. You can go beyond to international markets. All right. Thank you, Lloyd. And the GNBS has over 500 to 600 standards available and is constantly working to increase that number. Speaking about standards, the GNBS is also implementing standards in the burgeoning oil and gas industry and is constantly working to update its list to benefit stakeholders. In fact, on August 13th, the Bureau signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the American Petroleum Institute to adopt standards that are already a part of the API, standards that can benefit stakeholders here. Let's take a look at that video and some highlights from that event. As the Chair of the National Standards Council and on behalf of the other members, I welcome this partnership. No doubt, the national standards provide opportunities for higher levels of economic growth, favorable conditions for trade, and generally higher levels of development. They are critical to the petroleum industry, which is governed by the global benchmarks. Meanwhile, the government of Guyana continues to provide unwavering support and guidance through policy directives, which ensure that the Bureau's activities and functions are carried out optimally and in accordance with the Standards Act. Standards are important as Guyanese businesses venture into the relatively new industry. The Bureau sees, you know, our role in the oil and gas industry as critical in ensuring its success and we also look forward to partnering with the American Petroleum Institute to standardize the practices and the procedures to the adoption of the API standards and other guidelines for the petroleum industry in Guyana. Between API 600 plus members and our 700 plus standards, combined with GMBS's decades of experience and contacts in the region, we have a significant opportunity to share knowledge across the industry. And we've heard this term before as it relates to how we manage the oil and gas industry. But events like this, the signing of this MOU, the coordination of activities between internationally recognized institutions, 
our own local institutions and coordination between ministries and agencies to ensure that we drive this process forward is very, very important to us. Significantly, the GNBS this month welcomed the new National Standards Council chaired by Mr. Vladim Pasod. The Standards Council is responsible for the policy and general administration of the GNBS, thus providing governance and direction in ensuring the fulfillment of the organization's mandate. Now, Andrea, can we talk a little bit about the laboratory certification services? The Bureau of uh, Laboratory Certification to both medical and testing laboratories, and we do this against the uh, GYS-170, as you mentioned, general requirements to the operation of laboratories. So this service is offered to them. It's a voluntary service. But to date, we have some 20 laboratories, both medical and testing, who have been certified to the GYS-170. The process of getting a laboratory certified starts with an application form or a request form. And so they, have, they would fill out that request form identify the areas that are covered in the scope of their certification, they request a certification that is, and they submit it to the Bureau. Again, the officers would scrutinize the form to ensure that all information on the form, um, that it's accurate, and we will also ensure that we get all the information too that we need. Um, we would do up a cost, costing, and we would send that along with an uh, acknowledgement letter to the laboratory informing them that, well, we got their certificate, we got their request for a certification. Again, we would organize um, an initial, an assessment, a preliminary assessment, where we would go to the laboratory and we would identify, see what they have against the standard requirements. We will also encourage them, if they do not have a copy of the standard, to get a copy of the standard and become familiar with its requirements. If there are areas or gaps that need to be identified, we will identify to them. But we, again, we do not tell them how, how, how to fill the right. We don't tell them that. We would all allow them some time to get it right. And they would inform us and we would go to do, our next step is to go and do a certification audit. So we would have the auditors along with an assessor. They would go to the laboratory, check the laboratory system against the requirements of the standard, and then they would document their findings. That again is put into a report and submitted to our advisory committee for their deliberation. When, you, when it comes to certifying a product, you would look at the steps and ensure that everything is being, do, being done in accordance with the requirements. When it comes to a laboratory, what are the processes that you actually look at? We look at the requirements in the GYS-170 standard against what the laboratory would actually have. There are specific things that the standard would ask for the laboratories to be doing in order to be certified, and we would ensure that they have that system in place to address the requirements. If they don't have it, at the time of the certification audit, well, then we would raise it as a non-conformance, that they're not meeting that specific requirement or requirements. And when it relates to the medical laboratory, for example, customers can look for a sticker from the GNBS to say that this results coming out are accurate from this laboratory. Right, so once we certify them, we are now giving them stickers to place at visible areas where customers can see it. We're also giving them a plaque and we also give them their certificates along with our terms and conditions for the certification. Term, terms and conditions sounds like the GNBS can do um, audits in between as well to ensure that they're upkeeping the requirements. Yes, well both the product certification and laboratory certification during the period of certification we do surveillance audits. So we do not need to tell them when we're coming, we just show up and they signing to our terms and conditions gives us that right to turn up and conduct our surveillance audit. If they don't, well then we, we have our course of action to take. 
All right. Thank you, Andrea. As you heard, if you're a customer going to a laboratory, you know that once GNBS is certified that laboratory, it is providing accurate results because, as Andrea explained, we, just, we don't just certify the lab and then leave them to deal with the requirements. We also do surveillance audit. In addition to that, if you are a laboratory professional, you're working at a lab, you don't have to own the lab. Encourage your bosses, encourage persons to get certified. Come on to the GNBS certification program. And Lloyd, can you tell me how persons can access the GNBS or get onto the GNBS to get this done? Well, certainly you can start by calling Andrew and our team at the Certification <laughs> Services Department. And of course, you can get us on 219-0064 to 66. Uh, anytime between 8 hours and 16 hours 30, you can make that call. Or you can just send us an email at info at gnbsgy.org, right? And you can send us that email and we will be able to process, respond. We, of course, we respond very quickly to any, uh, any request or application that is needed coming from our stakeholders. We value our stakeholders very much. And, of course, if you want more details, you can even send us a WhatsApp. Uh, 6924 to 627 yes. is our WhatsApp number. And Bibi is the one who's going to be yes. responding. I'm the one who will be responding to your WhatsApp messages. Yes, you respond to the WhatsApp messages. So you can share details with us. We are willing and always able and committed to work with laboratories, companies, businesses that are interested in the services that we offer. And we want stakeholders to begin to implement standards. We want them to have uh, the systems in place that will ensure safety and all of that. And of course, for the laboratories, you might ask yourself, you know, why get certified? Uh, let's look at the medical laboratory. It affects, it can affect the client. Uh, it can be a life or death situation uh, in terms of the results coming out of the lab. And therefore, proper systems need to be put in place to ensure that, you know, uh, everything is working properly and the results are reliable and accurate. So th that's just one example where uh, having a certified laboratory ensures that you satisfy your stakeholder. And I know there are many laboratories in Ghana that, are, that have taken on the certification of the GNBS, but I know also that there are still a few who, have, who are still hesitant. Uh, uh, I believe that it is time that they join the others, you know, yeah, benchmark yourself with the best. Get on board our certification programs, whether it's product, whether it's uh, laboratory, and get certified. Have your product certified. Uh, it will only bring you advantage. Your bottom line will go all the way up. You will be able to get more customers, and certainly you get more recognition, and definitely you get more revenue. Thank you, Lloyd. We have spoken to so many stakeholders who said that, as Lloyd explained, their customer base has really increased after coming on to the GNBS certification program. Let's take a look at a short ad on our certification services and you'll learn a bit more. Do you want to give your business or product much needed recognition while giving your customers and employees the best you have to offer? The GNBS Certification Services Department is here for you. We provide certification for PVC pipes, gold jewelry, and concrete hollow blocks, as well as medical and testing laboratories. Need to assess your operation systems? Our auditing services are just what you need. Our well-versed team is prompt and efficient, ensuring that no stone is left unturned, ensuring your success. Contact the Certification Services Department of the GNBS to find out how to get started. GNBS, creating a culture of quality through standards. Thank you for staying with us. As a bonus, the GNBS Certification Services also offer auditing services. Andrea, can you tell us a little bit about the auditing services? Okay, so we provide this service to companies who are either certified or want to just ensure that their management system or the system that they have in place is conforming to whatever requirement of whichever standard they're trying to meet. Um, that too starts with a request after which we would um, agree with the company when it is that they want to get it done. We would also draft a contract which we 
it's, um, it's like a commitment between us and the company. Also, whatever it is that we're doing, we're doing it in utmost confidence. Um, once those formalities are concluded, our auditors will go um, and they would assess their system or audit their system, as we would say, and we would provide those findings to them. So our auditing services are pretty straightforward. It's based on requests from a company or organization, and they would indicate to us what sort of system they have in place, whether it's ISO 9001, 22000, 14000, whichever, and we will work with them to get that service done. And that is for internal auditing services. Most people, when they think of auditing, they think of finances. Even I did before joining the GNBS. So can you explain what is it that you audit, the system of the company that you right. audit? Right. So depends on what is the scope of the audit. And in those cases, the company would inform us what is it exactly they want to check against the requirements of whichever standard they are implementing or want to implement. And so it depends on the company or the organization. And our auditors would go in line with the requirements of the standard and we would check to see whether their system that they have is actually conforming to the requirements. If their area is lacking, we will inform them of such and it is up to them to address those. Thank you. I think it is very interesting to have somebody to come and test your system, somebody to audit your system and know that you're following the requirements of a standard to know that everything is being done the way it's supposed to be done. Because if you have hundreds of employees and then you need to ensure that whatever one employee was, has set out to do is actually the SOPs that are being followed as the company move along. Lloyd, I know that the GNBS also offers training for internal auditors. It's not the certification services department, but can you enlighten us a bit about that? Yes, uh, all, yes the GNBS does offer training services. And I know we prefer, the, we prefer companies utilize our services because we are able to get the revenue, of course, and all of that. But uh, we believe also that, you know, a company should be able to equip itself with, with the, the, the relevant resource and build competencies of the staff so that they can actually do the activity themselves. That's why we have a range of training services, training programs running to, to have persons become competent, join, take advantage of these services and become more competent. And of course, in terms of for internal auditing, we offer that course as well. I, I am sure we have one in September coming up, so it's not too late. You can take advantage, give us a call and have your staff who is responsible for checking your system be trained by the National Bureau of Standards and, you know, of course, receive uh, a certificate. There is also the IRCA audit, which is offered uh, Two, that will be, that's a little more intense. It's a more aggressive uh, auditing system that makes you uh, a lead auditor eventually, a lead auditor, and you're able to competently perform auditing services, whether it's at the organization that you're currently at, or you can move on to bigger, larger companies and be able to perform competently. So the GNBS uh, invites you to join our training program that, that, that are coming, they, they will continue and rerun, be rerun next year. Uh, so follow, follow us on Facebook, check our website, see when we have these various programs and, and sign up to be a part of them. All right, thank you, Lloyd. So you can contact the GNBS on 219-0064-66. Let's take a short break from the program of certification services and talk a little bit about stamping of devices. The GNBS is at the end of the second stamping verific or verification exercise for 2021 where the GNBS inspectors goes across the country and stamp the scales, masses and measures used in markets and shops and supermarkets. So when you go to a market you can look for the GNBS stamp on the scales to know that they were stamped and they're verified and they're accurate for you to be buying from that person. Let's take a look at the care and use of these devices, a short video on the care and use to say it and to tell to vendors how they can get the most out of their devices.
we are talking about care and use of devices. What we have recognized during the stamping process over the last few weeks where we went across the country at different locations to conduct the mobile stamping of devices. You know, we go out to meet the vendors and the shopkeepers rather than them coming to our various offices to have their devices verified. We've recognized that a number of vendors and shopkeepers are not actually keeping their devices clean and tidy. Some of them also asked or inquired, how can we correctly use our devices? Now, first of all, this is what the equal arm scale looks like. This is a typical example. And you will know that it's a kilogram scale because it, it carries from zero to 500. If the scale is in imperial units, you will see at the end here we have 16, which is uh, 16, ounces. 16 ounces, which is a imperial scale, right? So this scale is balanced. You see it's, it's kind of level and it's at zero point and then you can commence weighing because the scale is in a proper condition, it is balanced. Um, another point to note, we see from time to time people have what we call the metric scale but they have imperial masses or pong weights we, or call, pong them. Weights we call them, right? Now the equal arm scale or the red scale comes with most of the time three masses it's a 500 grams a 1 kg and a 2 kg mass now these are the masses that should be used to do the verification if they use any other mass you cannot be assured of the accuracy of the weight you're getting right if i can stray a little bit longer, yes is that people tend to buy the device that are domestic and it's not legal for trade the clock scale we call it or the blue scale now this device is not legal for trade for many reasons, right? Um, the accuracy is not being maintained on a consistent basis, right? Continuously, by the time you start using the scale, you find that you have inaccurate reading and people will get robbed. It will rob either for the customer or it will rob for the vendor. We don't want that to happen. Welcome back. Before we wrap up our program for tonight, can you Share with us if you have any closing comments for persons who are looking at the program. Okay, well, one of the things I would like to say to our viewers is that the Bureau cannot certify your company to an international standard. That is not a service that we offer underneath the, underneath the certification services um, department. We do not do that. However, we do have the auditing service whereby we can come and conduct internal audits for your company. And of course, that's based on requests from you. And our services, you can guarantee that we are qualified and competent to perform our service. So you can have the confidence in us that you get your money's worth <laughs> when you call on us to perform our services. I can attest to that. I've seen persons working from the certification department and they're like, that is very strict but it's good work and at least at the end of it, we can assure that the persons that are certified, they deserve the certification. Mm -hmm. Lloyd, is there anything else you'd like to add? Yes, as a follow up to what Andrew just said, I just want to say that we have a very capable business development department and that department can work with the company and take that company to the point of certification. Uh, it is a very affordable, when compared internationally, it's a very affordable service that we offer, and it is well offered. We take your hands, we take you step by step through the process, and we take you to the door of certification. So if you're going to implement the ISO 9001 standard, for example, we can work with you from beginning to the end to the point where you are ready to be certified. So I encourage you to take advantage of our business support services uh, and become certified. Thank you Lloyd. Do keep up to date with the services offered by the GNBS and follow us on our Facebook page or Instagram page. You can contact us on 219-0064-66. Ask for our certification services department if you have related questions or the business development department as Lloyd would have mentioned or you can message us on 692-4627. That is WhatsApp messaging 24 hours 692 4627 from the Corporate Communications Department where we are available to answer all of your questions. Thank you for joining once again.